Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to Journeys with Jay. Today's video is in collaboration with Beatles. They sent over this all-in-one starter kit, which is great for beginners, lovers, and professionals. Here I'm just showing you everything that comes inside of the box. We have UV gloves. We also have the trio of matte top coat, regular top coat, and base gel. We also have a little baggie in here that comes with your toe separators, a nail file. They also included gold leafing in there, which is really cool, or gold foil. We also have a detail brush with a dotting end on the opposite side. Great for designs and nail art. We also have a brush. We have the gel polish top or extender that you can use. These are my absolute favorite cuticle nippers. We also have your fingernail clipper, the sponge file, which you guys see in pretty much all of my videos. We also have a cuticle pusher. We have a set of tweezers. And then we also have the lamp that comes inside of this kit as well. It comes with a power cord. Moving on to the actual gel polishes that come inside of this kit. This kit does come with 32 gel polish shades, you guys. There's also a cuticle oil a blooming gel which we will be using today as well as a builder gel which really surprised me that they included this as well I'm not going to show you guys all of the colors that come inside of this pack however I will show you a few just with an array of the different colors and finishes but honestly you guys this covers all bases I absolutely love this kit and I will be creating more looks with this in the future I mean look at how vibrant this is like I mean you can't make this stuff up <laughs> like I'm telling you one swatch of gel polish over a nail is all you really need but I always say do two coats just so that you don't have any type of you know streaks or any areas that may not be as opaque but this gel polish is really 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 good Now we're moving on to our application and I'm not going to bore everyone with my normal application method which I'm sure most of you have seen tons of times but for the new viewers to the channel welcome and I'm still going to show you guys on how I'm applying my gel extensions. So these are just some pre buff nail tips that I've already prepped. I'm applying my gel adhesive inside of the nail, not applying too much but a generous enough coat. I'm applying the nail back towards the cuticle at a 45 degree angle and slowly applying a little bit of pressure so that that glue flows forward to the tip of the nail. And as you can see we don't have tons of glue seeping out of the sides or over the free edge of the nail which is what we want. You want to use just enough glue. Um, if you do get glue on the skin or it flows out, that's okay. It happens to everyone. It's trial and error. You just want to make sure that you go ahead and clean that up so that you don't have glue on the skin. And again, you'll see here, I'm just repeating those same steps and applying the rest of the nail tips.
Now that all of the nail tips have been applied, I'm going to go ahead and cure them in my big lamp for 60 seconds. Afterwards, I'm just taking one of my small nail buffers and I'm just removing all the shine from the nails and ensuring that the edges are smooth. Next, I'm going in with a lint-free wipe and applying some alcohol to remove all of the dust from my nails. Onto the nail design, first I'm going to go in with this gel polish from the kit in C020. This is a very pretty natural base color. It looks more of like a pinky lilac, but when you apply it, it's really pretty if you're going to be doing something on top of it, you can wear it by itself, or even with a French tip. So I'm only going to be applying one coat of this gel and then curing it in the big lamp for 60 seconds again. I decided to go in with some more vibrant colors, especially with it being spring and I just wanted something bright and these are the four colors that I'm using. And on top of the natural tone that I already have all over, I'm just going to do a thin layer of the blooming gel. I've gone ahead and applied all of the colors onto my little dish and I'm also going to be using one of my dotting tools. This is dual ended, but I'm only going to be using the larger side. And as you can see here, I'm just going in and applying that blooming gel first. Again, I'm only doing a thin layer of the blooming gel. You don't really need much product. This stuff works amazing, and it's really going to spread out those colors exactly how I want. So I don't have like any specific method of exactly how I want the colors placed outside of it being like green or the, you know, the neon green, pink, the blue, and then that like lavender color that I have. And so here I'm just kind of trying to figure out, making sure that I don't have any bubbles in the gel polish, but you guys will see exactly what I'm doing. I'm kind of staggering the colors. 
making it a little bit more offset so we have um, them spread in a certain pattern. As you can see, they spread very quickly, so that's good. And what we really want is for the colors to start to come into each other, but not blending together. After another minute or so, this is what it's looking like. So I did go ahead and cure the thumb off camera, and I'm just going to be essentially repeating that same process to the rest of the nails. I don't believe I stated this, but when you apply the blooming gel, you're not curing it. You're going to leave it wet before going in with the dots of gel polish. I know that most of you may know, but there may be something, uh, someone that has the question. So you're going to keep that wet so that polish is able to spread. And again here you guys can see that I'm just repeating that same process of applying the dots. Um, some of these clips are a bit out of focus and I was like, no, why? It's only sometimes when I zoom in and like my exposure just goes crazy. So I'm working on that part and trying to get some additional lighting. I have so many ring lights, but it just does not give exactly what it is I'm looking for. So yeah, I'm just playing around with some more things so that my lighting doesn't get overexposed and so that you guys are able to see. And you'll see right here, it just looks so bright. <laughs> I'm like, no, and then it came back. So yeah, you guys get the gist, I know you do, but I would prefer that you're able to see every bit of detail when I apply these nail designs.
I'm just cleaning up anywhere that the polish may have run over just doing a once over of all the nails and then I'm going to cure them in my big lamp for 60 seconds Next, I'm taking the top coat out of the kit and I will be applying a generous coat to all of the nails and then curing it again for 60 seconds in the big lamp. Okay, you guys, this is going to be the finished look. I absolutely love this. It reminds me of like stained glass windows. So I'm really intrigued on using some deeper colors to see what I can come up with next. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.